Hello everyone, it's Megan from Kenhub here, and in today's tutorial I'll be giving you some hints and tips on creating your very own anatomy poster. As a student of anatomy, you'll probably already have a whole bunch of anatomy textbooks, flashcards, lecture notes and other study aids at your disposal, which is great, but in spite of the conventional study tools for learning anatomy, sometimes you may need to think outside the box to avoid getting stuck in a rut. Making your own anatomy poster might just be the thing you need to refresh your brain and get you looking at your anatomy topics from a whole new perspective. You might be thinking, given all the things you have to study for, why waste your time on an art project? Well, making your own anatomy poster is an innovative and emotive approach to learning, which research has shown to improve memory retention. So are you sold? Great, then let's get started. Before you begin, here's a list of all the things you'll need. First up, access to a printer is a necessity so that you can print out the relevant anatomical images. Next, writing materials are essential for annotating your poster. You'll also need a wall or a board to pin your printouts onto. And last but not least, you'll need adhesive tools like tacks, pins, sellotape, staplers or something similar to bring your whole poster together. Once you have all your materials ready, you can get started. Head over to Kenhub's online atlas and select the structure you'd like to print out. Et voila, easy, now on to the next stage. Now that you have your image printed out, the next logical step is to label your structure. Let's use the muscles of the rotator cuff as an example. The rotator cuff refers to a group of muscles that work together to stabilise and move the humeral head in the glenoid cavity. In other words, these muscles facilitate the stabilisation and flexibility of the shoulder joint. If you wanted to make a poster of the rotator cuff muscles, you would print out your image and label the muscles individually. As well as this, we'd advise writing down other important points about your structures that you think are worth seeing as soon as you look at your poster. Don't forget to make notes of any major or minor details about your structure that you don't know well. Having this information cohesively arranged in one poster, along with the visual image and the labelled muscles, may increase your chances of remembering it. In addition, you can also colour code your poster by using different coloured pens for veins, arteries, nerves, functions and so on. This is really crucial for differentiating one structure from the next. The great thing about making your own anatomy poster is that you have the power to decide how simple or how detailed it is. You're free to put as much or as little information as you see fit or feel suits your study goals. This is great news for anyone who feels frustrated that their current anatomy study materials are either too simplified or too overwhelming. Making your own anatomy poster doesn't have to be a solitary endeavour. Get together with some of your classmates and work on the project as a group. Working together can not only be fun but also educational because you can learn from each other. You can discuss the structures together and exchange information. It's also a great way to socialise without feeling like you're losing valuable study time. Once you're done with your poster, you can pin it up on your wall in your study space or wherever you feel would be convenient for you to refer to it when you need to. So there you go, making a comprehensive, easy to read anatomy poster can be quick, easy, effortless and fun. And if you're still not convinced, remember that studies have shown that learning with tools like this can aid with better memory retention. So what do you have to lose? Go on, give it a try. And don't forget to check out the KenHub YouTube channel for loads more videos on study tips, like where to find anatomy learning tools. Thanks for watching and see you next time.